uh, hello Michael again um, this is our fourth um, C sharp tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to connect um, your software or your program to my SQL database okay so in order to run my SQL database on uh, on your computer you need you need a local host so an example of a local host you can use is uh, ZAMP okay so you just go to Google you search for ZAMP so this is the first one and then you download um, the ZAMP for Windows if you are using Windows you can download this one if you are using Linux or OS you can download any so with Windows you go to Windows and then you download I already have it installed on my computer so I'm not going to download it when you download it and it's done all you need to do is just run the installer just keep going next 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 and then yeah okay yeah done with the installation okay um, okay so that's for the ZAMP and in order for you to connect in order for you to connect your software to my SQL database you need a software called my SQL connector so what my SQL connector does is it connects the software to my SQL database so it's more like a link between the two okay so you go to uh, Google you just search my SQL connector and then the first link that comes you select the first one you scroll down you select the first one that's adio.net driver for my SQL okay so you go to download take it to a new page and then uh, where you scroll down I think you find it here so uh, you select your operating system that's by default is um, Microsoft Windows you scroll down and then you find other downloads this is it you, you use you use um, MSI installer right so you just click download and in order for you to download this yeah you just need to log in okay so if you don't have an account you just create an account and then you download it you know what sorry um, you can either create an account and download or you can just uh, download it without any accounts okay so you go to um, no thanks no thanks just start my download for me okay so you just click on that and then you get your download so I again I already have this one so I'm not going to download it you just have to download and install that one to simple installation you just go to next next when you run the installer and then you are good to go okay yes um okay so when that's done what we have to do now is run our chat develop project so in the previous project this is where we got to and uh, when you run the software this is what we get okay looking good and all and we can put our details here and then we continue okay but uh, in this in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to add a reference to your your project so that you can connect uh, your software to the database my sql database okay so in order for us to do that we have to how do i say it we have to we have to go into our project folder okay so at the right hand side of uh, the software we have at the bottom we have tools and then we have projects so when you go to projects you you see that's where your project uh, folder is so this is your project folder and um, that's what we name our project user data so when you toggle through you get all this here so in order to add uh, my sql to not to add my sql connector to your software you have to go to reference you right click it and then you go to add add new references so uh, we can search through this and then we will find after you've installed you've installed um, the my 
SQL connector. You can search through my SQL data. When you search through and then it's installed correctly, you find it here. You select this one, and then you can just go OK. If you search and then you can't find it, you have to go to browse and then look for the file itself. So we go to browse, we go to our local disk um, program files, and then we search my SQL. So okay, here's my SQL. When we open it, we go to my SQL connector. Uh, so mine is an older version, here, so it might be eight point something. So you go to, then you go to assembly. You go to, you can go to put, but then just use the current one. This is four point five. And then this is the file we are looking for. So it says my SQL dot data dot DLL file. So you just select it. You go to OK and then you just click OK and then you have added that reference to your program okay so when you scroll through your references you will see it in here this is my SQL dot data so we have successfully added um, my SQL connector to our program so in the next video I'm going to teach you how you guys how to actually connect it and see if um, it has connected successfully okay so i like to pause here and then see you guys in the next video